In this video, we aim to give you a richer idea of what it means to aim for quality of learning, to be a successful higher education student, and what we mean by academic honesty and integrity. When you read the student handbook, you do read it, don't you? You will remember that plagiarism is something which can end your academic progress. So what is plagiarism, and why is it such a problem? We want to answer these questions as you may not have a full understanding of plagiarism and therefore might commit it accidentally. So what is it? One of the most succinct definitions is supplied by the shorter Oxford English Dictionary. Plagiarism is literary theft. But what does that mean? It means taking another person's writing and presenting it as your own. So why is it a problem? Well, Imagine that you spend a year writing a novel. Then a friend of yours asks to read the novel. When they take it away, they read it, decide it's fantastic, and so they rush off to a publisher and have it published in their name. You get no credit, and you get no money at all for the work you have put in. It's probably easy to understand why such a form of theft is a problem. But here, in higher education, come on. Surely it's just an essay, just a report. What's the big deal? Well, it is a big deal. And here are some links with discussions on that matter. You can read these for yourselves. And they're also available in the description of the video on the YouTube page. However, I'll borrow some of Michael Fleming's sentences. Please note that we're giving him credit for the following bits. To explain. Professors don't assign essays in order to punish students, or to keep them busy, or to generate grades. The skills you develop through writing, gathering, analysing, synthesising, organising and presenting information are precisely the skills that define an educated person. Plagiarism circumvents the learning process. Even if the plagiarist isn't caught and punished at the time, his or her underdeveloped skills to say nothing of his or her habits of procrastination and deceit, will soon become evident to future teachers and employers. Just a note, if the above sentences were put in an essay as a quote, you would have to indicate that it is a direct quote, usually with some different text and paragraph style, for example with smaller text and an indented paragraph. You then need what is called a citation, text that indicates the reference that you have taken the quote from, for example. And then you need to ensure that you have the full reference details for the article in a reference section at the end of your essay or report. Here's what the reference for this article should look like. This reference style uses the Harvard author date system. You absolutely need to know how to use this referencing system. We'll get back to that, but now... Think about what Michael Fleming says in his article. And following on from that... Would you want a surgeon who had cheated their way through their degree to operate on you? Or your airline pilot, do you really want to put your safety in the hands of one who cheated through their training? So this is about academic honesty and integrity. We, your teachers, are here to help you learn and develop your knowledge base, your thinking skills, your skills in applying your knowledge, and to help you grow as a person. So let's now give you an example of an essay that's plagiarised so that you have an idea of what it looks like and what to avoid. Remember while you're looking at this that the aim of an essay or report is for you to show what you have thought about, what you have learned, and to contribute some original thought, that is, your own ideas, based on the research you have done. Note too that this example is particularly bad but we'll make comments as we look through it so that you know what even small mistakes look like. When you first look at this essay, you might think, you might think that it's okay. It looks neat, has a readable typeface, there's good spacing, it has pictures, it even has references, sort of. However, 
The trained eye can see immediately a large number of clues that the work was not written by the student in this case. We're not telling you what those clues are. The student has taken the trouble to rearrange lots of text they've found on the web, but there is absolutely no original contribution of any worth from this student. It is all, let's say, borrowed from other people's work. You and I know that means it has been stolen. It is not academically honest. That means the teacher marking this has absolutely no idea what the student has learned from the assignment. Sadly, it probably means that the student may have learned little from the task of writing. How is that going to help them develop? How does that make them someone you would want to employ? But let's be fair, it is possible that the student thought that this is a legitimate way of assembling an essay. So that's why we're doing this video. We know that many of you may not yet have a clear understanding of how to write an academically honest essay that genuinely helps you learn. By the way, if you already do know that, watch and listen for additional understanding. Now, let's look more closely. The opening paragraphs might have been written by the student. It's hard to tell. The third paragraph is a direct lift from the website shown in the link. That means the paragraph should be shown as a quote, and that there should be a proper citation at the end of the paragraph, and a full reference in the references section. Many of the sentences in the next large paragraph are from the site shown in the link. So the original source has not been acknowledged and there is no evidence of analysis of the ideas or synthesis of original ideas. By the way, the links have been added in by me, the person talking to you. They weren't put there by the student. The next page shows several bits of text highlighted and their identified sources. Where the text is not marked, it has been too hard to locate a source. While it is possible that the student wrote those bits, it is unlikely, as the style of writing strongly suggests that it is stolen text. By the time we get to the next page, we see whole slabs of text lifted directly from the internet. There is no acknowledgement of the original source at all. As you can see, as we scroll through the essay, virtually the entire remainder of the essay is a direct theft from a number of websites. The identification of the websites, shown in red links, took considerable time. The student has done a lot of work rearranging the text in an attempt to create a logical, coherent flow of the essay. We have to give them credit for that. But it is not their work. There is even an attempt at a references section. Unfortunately, this student has made no obvious attempt to use the guidelines of the Harvard author date system. To help you understand, there should be an author's name, if available. A date, a title for the article where one exists, the owner or publisher, a city of publication if given, although this is not often provided on internet sites, a date the article was accessed if it's from the internet, and the link to the article if it's from the internet. Here's an example. Just as an aside, this article was used in the essay, but it is not listed in the references section. Every reference here on this page should be in the form of the example shown. You need to know how to use the author date referencing system properly. OK, so let's be generous. It is most likely that this student has not been previously educated in what plagiarism is and the importance of academic honesty and integrity. It's clear they put a lot of effort into assembling the essay. They have done a reasonable amount of research and they have done a lot of rearranging. But there is no evidence that they have actually learned something from the exercise. That's why these tasks are given to you, to facilitate your learning and your development. Every essay, every report, every practical, every exam is a chance for you to develop your knowledge and skills and show us, your teachers, how much you are developing. Sadly, the essay you've just seen, despite involving a lot of work, will, at best, get zero marks as it shows no original work of any consequence. 
In many circumstances, it will result in failing the subject or even, as has been the case with some students, being excluded from the degree. Please remember what we've already said twice in this video. The assignments, practicals and written tasks are there to facilitate your learning. For those who fully engage in their growth and self-development in a spirit of academic honesty and integrity, one of the most rewarding experiences is appreciating that when you pass a subject, you have truly earned that pass, and it is a milestone for you in creating a future of opportunity for yourself. We will do everything we can to support you in learning in that spirit, academic honesty and integrity.